Exercise results in changes to the body. Sweating, panting, and a higher heart rate. These all happen for a reason. And today, we're learning about those reasons. You can use my Bioenergetics workbook alongside this video to get the most out of your revision time. It's got tons of tasks and pictures and exam questions to check what you've learned. The link is in the description below or head over to emmatheteachy.com. Exercise involves the contraction and relaxation of our muscles to move the body. This increases the demand for energy, which is transferred during respiration. As we learned in the previous video, more energy is transferred during aerobic respiration than anaerobic respiration. So our bodies will try to respire aerobically for as long as possible. To help with this, three main changes occur. Firstly, our heart rate increases. This means more blood is pumped to the muscles each minute. Secondly, our breathing rate increases. This means we take more breaths per minute, getting more air, and therefore more oxygen into our body. And finally, our breathing volume increases. This means we're breathing more deeply, taking more air into our lungs, resulting in more oxygen entering the bloodstream. The overall result is that our muscles receive more oxygenated blood, so the mitochondria can carry out more aerobic respiration. Long periods of vigorous activity cause muscles to become fatigued and stop contracting efficiently. You've probably experienced this yourself when exercising. Your muscles get sore and tired. One cause of this is lactic acid. This is produced during anaerobic respiration due to insufficient oxygen. And as we saw in the previous video, the incomplete oxidation of glucose causes a buildup of lactic acid. This also causes an oxygen debt. The explanation of oxygen debt is higher tier content. So if you're studying foundation, feel free to skip ahead to the questions. Okay, lactic acid is a waste product that the body needs to remove. It isn't a gas, so it can't just be breathed out like carbon dioxide. Instead, blood flowing through the muscles will pick it up and transport it to the liver. Once there, the lactic acid is converted back into glucose using oxygen. The amount of extra oxygen needed to do this is called the oxygen debt. That's an important phrase to learn. This is the reason why we continue to breathe heavily and quickly after exercise. The body still requires a higher amount of oxygen to repay the oxygen debt and convert the lactic acid back into glucose. It's quick question time. Pause the video and try the questions. And when you're ready, press play to go over the answers. One. During exercise, a person's heart rate increases. State two other changes that take place in the body to supply the muscles with more oxygenated blood. Well, firstly, the breathing rate increases and the breathing volume also increases. Two, why is less energy released in anaerobic respiration than in aerobic respiration? Well, this is because the oxidation of glucose is incomplete in anaerobic respiration, or you can say that the glucose is not fully broken down. It's the same thing. Three, write an equation to show how oxygen debt is used to remove lactic acid. And this is a higher tier only question. Okay, so we need to write an equation. And as we don't know the chemical symbols for lactic acid, that means it'll be a word equation. So lactic acid is combined with oxygen, and when that happens, it's converted into glucose. All right, how did you do on the questions? Click here for the last video of the bioenergetics topic. And if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. It really supports me in continuing to get these videos out to you. Thanks and bye.